Africa, lupus nephritis affects more than half of the patients with SLE and is a major risk factor of mortality and morbidity. Despite the standard of care therapies, patients with lupus nephritis had a 10-year cumulative incidence of end-stage renal disease of 10%, and life expectancy was reduced by 23.7 years in patients with renal damage. For the treatment of lupus nephritis, the current EULAR guidelines recommend induction therapy with high dose of glucocorticoids and uh, cyclophosphamide or mycophenolate mofetil, and the maintenance therapy with azathioprine or mycophenolate mofetil or um, a calcinary inhibitor. A two-by-two two comparison was made between azathioprine and mycophenolate mofetil and between azathioprine and cyclosporin. But there are no comparative studies among these three drugs, especially in the long term. We conducted a retrospective observational study aimed to compare efficacy and safety of cyclosporine, mycophenolate mofetil, and azathioprine in the long-term maintenance therapy of lupus nephritis. Uh, primary endpoint was uh, renal status at 1, 5, and 10 years. And we chose as complete renal response a normal EGFR and a proteinuria less than 0.5 gram per day. As partial response, a normal EGFR and a proteinuria more than 0.5 gram per day. And as no response, a normal EGFR. Secondary points were incidence of renal and extra-renal flux and safety profile. We enrolled 104 patients, mainly females, um, 70, uh, with SNLE and biopsy-proven lupus nephritis. Uh, as expected, the, the class 4 was the most frequent. Uh, 74 patients entered this study at the diagnosis of lupus nephritis and 30 patients uh, during a lupus nephritis flare. Uh, the mean follow-up from the start of maintenance therapy was 14 years. Patients received uh, as induction therapy in most cases uh, three uh, methylprednisone pulses followed by oral prednisone in association with the cyclophosphamide. And then, as maintenance therapy, 32 patients received cyclosporine, 36 azathioprine, and 36 mycophenolate mofetil. The mean duration of maintenance therapy was 8 years. At the start of induction, in, uh, of induction therapy, uh, the majority of patients had a severe nephrotic syndrome and uh, from 20 to 30 percent had an acute renal failure. At the start of maintenance therapy, uh, there was a consistent improvement in creatine, EGFR, and proteinuria. But the group uh, to be treated with the cyclosporine displayed um, higher significantly proteinuria levels. In line with these findings, um, the, the cyclosporine group had the lower complete remission rate in comparison with mycophenolate mofetil and azathioprine at the start of maintenance therapy. After one year of treatment, there, there was a, a progressive improvement in complete remission rate in all groups. Uh, in particular, in, in the cyclosporine group achieved the highest complete remission rate uh, with an increase from 28% to 72% in one year. Now uh, the difference was significant. Af after five years, um, uh, more than 80% of patients reached uh, complete remission, and there were no significant differences in creatinine, EGFR, and proteinuria. After 10 years, the high rate of complete re remission was preserved, in particular for the cyclosporine group. But creatine um, is, uh, significantly higher, was significantly higher in the, in the cyclosporine group in comparison with uh, mycophenolate mofetil and azathioprine. 
overall, the study demonstrated that there, um, there are no significant differences in renal flux, extra-renal flux, and side effects. Um, it should be noted that at the start and at the end of the study, the, arteria, the arterial hypertension rate are similar among the three groups. So given that, this is the first study to compare cyclosporine, azathioprine, and mycophenolate mofetil as maintenance therapy in the long term. After 10 years of observation, cyclosporine, azathioprine, and mycophenolate mofetil have proven to be effective in consolidating and maintaining remission of lupus nephritis. In all groups, remission was maintained for over 10 years. The number and type of flares and of severe side effects were not significantly different among cyclosporine, mycophenolate mofetil, and azathioprine. Notable are the results achieved in the cyclosporine group. Despite worse clinical conditions at the beginning of maintenance therapy, cyclosporine allowed a rapid achievement of lupus nephritis remission in the majority of patients, achieving the same results of azathioprine and mycophenolate mofetil. I want to thank uh, all the colleagues that collaborated in this study, in particular Dr. Moroni and Dr. Jorosa that gave me um, this opportunity, and uh, the, LS, the SLE uh, Italian group that supported me.